And welcome back. You are looking at live pictures of Mar-a-Lago Resort where you can see it appears that maybe the first vehicle from the motorcade has just gone through those gates of Mar-a-Lago Resort. This is a live look at the Palm Beach estate where we are expecting former President Donald Trump to leave Mar-a-Lago heading, making that short five mile drive to Palm Beach International Airport where we are told he will then get on his plane and then head to New York City to be arraigned on those nearly two dozen counts of criminal charges. Those charges, of course, related to what we're being told are hush payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels. This is according to ABC News. We have been watching these gates all morning along South Ocean Boulevard, and they have been closed for most of the morning. But as you saw, we just saw what appears to be um, a black SUV uh, heading through those gates, which could indicate that the former president is about to make his way to Palm Beach International Airport. WPBF 25 News reported a short time ago that the former president was likely to leave within 30 minutes, starting at around noon. So we were anticipating his uh, trek to Palm Beach International Airport to be right around this time. And again, uh, what you're looking at right now was that first vehicle going through. Uh, I want to bring in Steve King, who is a short distance away from Mar-a-Lago uh, along Southern Boulevard in Bingham Island. Steve, what can you tell me what's happening there where you are? Are they starting to um, prevent the traffic from going through? Well, Tiffany, just minimal traffic control right now. We just see one Palm Beach officer, but he's been posted up there for about 30 minutes right now as we are currently looking east towards uh, Southern Boulevard right now, keeping an eye out for that first SUV, which we saw leave the Mar-a-Lago Resort just a little while ago. But so far, no other signs of the motorcade at this moment. Nobody else has left that um, as we look at that camera feed right now. So just that one SUV has left, no other signs of the motorcade at this time. Can't see them right now, but there are several supporters of former president and 2024 presidential candidate Donald Trump here. I talked with a few of them, some calling this a travesty, this indictment, some saying that they feel bad for him and his family and that they're just worried about the direction of the country right now. There's also armed guards on the Mar-a-Lago property right now for this unprecedented day in American history. And right now, all of the supporters have been peaceful here along Mar-a-Lago and will continue to monitor the situation. But again, so far, no signs of the motorcade here along Southern Boulevard at this time. But for now, let's send it back to you, Tiffany. All right, Steve King live for us along Southern Boulevard. A little farther east is Josie Carbonari. Josie, tell us what you're seeing where you are. Well, Tiffany, as Steve mentioned, we're seeing a lot of supporters rallying around a former President Donald Trump, but it's a peaceful protest here that we're seeing. Uh, about 50 people lined up here along Southern Boulevard, right in front of the bridge that heads into Mar-a-Lago. So uh, when we see that motorcade, motorcade crossing over, uh, a lot of these folks say that they are excited to see the former president, but they are disappointed with the indictment and they are uh, concerned about the future of this country. We've been hearing horns being honked along the way. People are waving their flags, wearing hats and supports, shirts and support. And, and I know there's uh, more supporters further down on Southern Boulevard here. Uh, he will be turning himself into New York authorities and returning to his Mar-a-Lago estate. He's expected to give a public statement from there on Tuesday evening. Again, supporters continue to show up for Trump even six years after being elected. Uh, and Terry, I know that you have been seeing a lot of supporters down your way. Uh, what are you seeing, Terry? Tiffany? All right, Josie, I'll take that. And, and Terry, I'm not sure if you heard Josie, but Josie um, is a little east of you, also on Southern Boulevard, along with some of the supporters. Tell us a little bit about what you're seeing, because I'm not sure if you were able to see, but a short time ago, we did see the gates to Mar-a-Lago open. We saw one SUV go through, but at this point, we're not seeing any indication that the motorcade is on the way. And actually, it looks like we are seeing some live pictures. These are live pictures from right around the corner from Mar-a-Lago. Uh, this would have been if the uh, motorcade had turned and gone south and then making their way towards Southern Boulevard. This is a look at South Ocean Boulevard right outside the Palm Beach Estate, uh, Trump's home. And it appears to be what we what we just saw were a few other SUVs uh, leaving the estate. Terry, what are you seeing where you are? 
his supporters as normal. This is the place on Southern Boulevard, the Southdale Shopping Center, where hundreds of Trump supporters always come. They've done it ever since before he was elected, all through his presidency. They were even holding weekly Friday Trump nights uh, up in Palm Beach Gardens all through his presidency. And right now, they're not about to give up. They feel like their leader is in peril. They need to support him. They do think this is a witch hunt, as they tell me. And they're here to say, you know what? We don't think Donald Trump has committed any crime. Of course, that's what former President Trump himself has said through his lawyers. And they do plan to vigorously fight this historic indictment. But take a look behind me. We got some people close up, but even behind them, about 200 more. The flags are out, the cheers are out. They've got bullhorns. They've been singing, uh, God Save America. And they are doing everything they can to show Donald Trump that their base is behind him. And they will be waving and the cars going by. We have heard a lot of honking here. So I think a lot of people even driving by are uh, really excited to see this level of enthusiasm. Right now, we're understanding that Donald Trump is coming our way in his motorcade. There is no traffic uh, shut down at this moment. It's regular traffic as usual. Remember, when he was president, all of this traffic would have been stopped because uh, he was president and you know they had to have the big secret service with the dozens of uh, motorcycles as well as the marked units the big tanks and all of this obviously his motorcade is going to be much smaller today but he is still protected by the secret service so he'll have that surrounding him just as every former president does as he makes his way to PBIA. I, I, I keep looking because I'm trying to get a feel for if we're going to see him coming around hey, the corner at any minute. Yeah, Terry, we're, I'm going to tell you where they are right now. They just passed the, the motorcade just passed Washington Road. So they're about to make their way to Dixie Olive and they're about to go over the bridge. So they should momentarily you should be seeing that motorcade uh, coming down Southern Boulevard. They're probably about 30 seconds from where you are. Uh, Josie is, as you know, a little farther east. Uh, Steve King is near Bingham Island, and they would have just passed, uh, the motorcade would have just passed Steve King. Uh, so you should be seeing the okay. motorcade momentarily. And I'm going to let you turn around, uh, take a look for that as we await for the former president, Donald right. Trump, making his way from okay. Mar-a-Lago to Palm Beach International Airport to make that trip to New York City to face criminal charges. Terry? That's right, and you can see the supporters are uh, waving their flags. They're getting ready for Donald Trump, former president, now facing a historic indictment on criminal charges, something that has never happened before to a former president. This is just unbelievable, not only to Trump supporters, but in many ways just to Americans who may be on the fence, but just say like, wow, we have never seen anything like this. I mean, he is actually in his car, on his way, surrounded by Secret Service, to go to the airport to board his private plane and then fly to New York where he will be booked. He will have a mug shot. He will give fingerprints. And then the former president will be released to come right back here to Palm Beach County, which is his home. And uh, he will not be handcuffed. We have been told that. However, uh, it's going to be over very quickly. He'll come back here. He plans to speak to his supporters in a news conference around 8 p.m. tonight. He has to be careful what he says, obviously, because he doesn't want to say anything that uh, might get him in trouble with the prosecutors. And right now we understand that uh, former President Trump is coming over the bridge. So we're going to be seeing his motorcade. And I, we do have two um, motorcycle police officers have just stopped adjacent traffic here on Parker Avenue. They're clearing the roads. So let's take a look, Aldo. And here is the motorcade making its way past the Southdale Shopping Center. That is a place where many supporters gather. They are going right by Terry Parker's camera right now as a historic day in the Palm Beaches and the country as former President Donald Trump is leaving Palm Beach for Palm Beach International Airport, where he's then going to head to New York City to face those two dozen criminal counts. Let's just listen to the motorcade go by. To pick up okay, on what Okay, I think that was it, Tiffany. 
Yes, indeed it was. And, and Terry, to pick up on something you were talking about, which was what happens tomorrow when the former president turns himself in. He is, as you mentioned, he'll be booked at the, the Manhattan DZ office where he will have his fingerprints and mugshot taken. Um, and then it, he will certainly... Uh, be immediately released once he is arraigned, particularly under new rules in New York that allow people who are indicted on misdemeanor charges or nonviolent felonies to be released on their own recognizance without bail unless they are deemed to be a flight risk. And now what you are looking at live is the president's private plane. He, he is about, at this point, three or four minutes away from getting to the plane. It is really a short distance from uh, his Palm Beach estate to Palm Beach International Airport. It should take no more than four or five minutes. Our Nathalie Pozo has been there throughout the morning monitoring what's happening there at Palm Beach International Airport. And Nathalie, what are you seeing right now? So, Tiffany, as you can see from our live pictures right now, this is Southern Boulevard, and they still are letting cars come by. So the road has not been shut down just yet. But in the distance, uh, past those Trump supporters, past those flags that you're seeing there, maybe a little tough to see, but the flashing lights of the Palm Beach County Sheriff deputy. So it seems that they have at least one lane maybe blocked at this time. I also just peeked around the corner. I did see that a they have shut down perimeter road here by the airport as well. That's the road that runs parallel here to Southern Boulevard right up against uh, the tarmac here. So that is closed right now. People cannot get in or out. And again, it looks like one lane is being closed at this time here on Southern Boulevard, but they are still letting traffic get by at this time. Further down from me where there are more supporters, we see another Palm Beach County Sheriff Deputy Patrol car, uh, which we are presuming that that is where the motorcade will enter through before it makes its way onto the tarmac. Now, as you could see from our live pictures here as well, we have uh, dozens of Trump supporters that are out here waving their flags and their signs. Um, you know, just upset by this indictment. In fact, Governor Ron DeSantis saying earlier that he believes this indictment was purely for political purposes. Then you have others on the other side that are saying no one is above the law, including a former president. In fact, just a, a short time ago, we had a woman that passed by us and she said, is there no one out here that is um, not a Trump supporter? And she said that she was stunned to learn that she was the only one here who was for this indictment, who was out here demonstrating that she believed that the DA in Manhattan did the right thing, that the grand jury did the right thing by handing down uh, that, that indictment. But again, as you could see from our live pictures here, we have dozens of people who are against that, who uh, are supporting Trump and believe that this indictment should have never happened. So we were told that the president would be arrived, former president, excuse me, would be arriving here at the airport uh, within the 30, uh, within 30 minutes. That was at noon. It is now at 12.30. So um, based on what my colleagues have been seeing from where they are, uh, he should be arriving here within the next few minutes. We just saw this this white unmarked vehicle here with some lights flash by, but uh, still letting traffic. Oh, okay, it looks like he is about to arrive here. They have just stopped traffic in this area. You could see that black SUV kind of leading the way here, making its way down slowly from Southern uh, on Southern Avenue. And yes, here comes the motorcade right now with the former president as he is expected to board his plane here at Palm Beach International Airport and then head to New York one day again ahead of this historic arraignment. Trump becoming the first president, current or former, to face criminal charges. Once Trump arrives here in New York, we're told that he will spend the night in his Fifth Avenue apartment before he is driven by motorcade once again to his arraignment in that New York courtroom. So Southern Boulevard is back open here again at this time. So the motorcade has made its way through from our live pictures here. We're going to just stay with it. And it looks like they're going to turn into the end there where we see more Trump supporters and where we see uh, Palm Beach County Sheriff deputy that patrol car there just blocking the way so once uh, the former president makes his way onto the tarmac here he will board his plane and again it will fly out to New York so once he is in New York we know that he will be processed once he is taken to that courthouse but not handcuffed 
We know that he will then be walked into a courtroom where his attorney says he will enter a plea of not guilty. So we're going to stay with our live pictures here um, and maybe soon we'll be seeing the motorcade making their way onto the tarmac here where you could see Donald Trump's plane. And um, again, we are dealing with security here at the airport. We have Palm Beach County Sheriff deputies at each end of the airport. And we know that in New York as well, they are also dealing with security. We know that barriers have been put up um, and they are on high alert in New York City ahead again of the former president's arrival. We know that metal barriers surround the Trump Tower and also the criminal court building in lower Manhattan where the NYPD is bracing for possible protests. And, you know, I heard Terry Parker talk about the honking that was going on where she is. That is, that is happening here, too, as people make their way down Southern Boulevard and they see the president, the former president's plane, and they see the supporters out here waving those flags in support of President Donald Trump. Tiffany, Nathalie, we're going to send it right. over to you for, for a yep. bit. And Nathalie, I want to go back to something you were talking about, which is what exactly happens tomorrow in New York City. And you alluded to this as to Terry Parker, but just, you know, what happens when Trump surrenders? Well, he's going to be booked at the Manhattan DA's office where he will have his fingerprints and his mugshot taken. He will also have his DNA and other information taken before he does that formal arraignment and appears in court to plead guilty or not guilty. And although Trump has reportedly expressed interest in making or turning his arrest into a spectacle, it is unlikely that he will do that traditional perp walk before he's arraigned. Uh, this is because it would be a politically charged optics. And, and of course, as you mentioned, you talked about the security that's happening right now, the security concerns in New York City. Um, he will certainly be immediately released once he is arraigned uh, under the new bail rules in New York City. And then, of course, what happens once, uh, you know, the criminal cases typically take more than a year to even go to trial. So the former president's trial is unlikely to take place until the 2024 election season is well underway or even after the election takes place. So the, there are a lot of unknowns in terms of after the arraignment tomorrow on what we believe are nearly uh, two dozen counts. Uh, how long does the process take after that? And typically uh, in New York City, it could take up to a year to go to trial, even longer. It could be delayed. And Nathalie, something you mentioned is that what we understand the former president, once he gets on the plane today here at Palm Beach International Airport, he will then be um, heading to New York City and he will spend the night in his Fifth Avenue home uh, before the arraignment tomorrow. And then he is expected to turn right back around after that arraignment and come back here to Palm Beach County to his estate, Mar-a-Lago, and he is anticipating holding um, a news conference tomorrow evening at 8.15 as you are looking live once again uh, there on the perimeter road of the airport, the former president's motorcade making its way. It will make its way onto the tarmac where the former president will then uh, get onto his private plane that has been sitting there for a week now. It left last weekend for a quick fundraiser in Waco, Texas. But since then, all eyes have been on that plane there at Palm Beach International Airport, waiting to see if there was gonna be any movement. It had been unknown for uh, since Thursday's indictment exactly when the president would head to New York, but then it became clear that he would be leaving today ahead of his arraignment on Tuesday. And Nathalie, uh, can you see what's happening right now? Because what we're seeing is the motorcade is pulling up through the gates of the perimeter there of the airport and making its way onto the tarmac very close to the president's plane, the former president's plane. Yes, Tiffany, we just saw those black SUVs that we saw here on Southern Boulevard make their way onto the tarmac right there on the other side of Trump's plane. You could see right now as well, if we pan off and maybe show right in front of the plane, you could see some of the Palm Beach County um, sheriff deputies and other uh, law and other law enforcement officers who are who have just pulled up also in front of the plane. So again, we're expecting the former president to board the plane any minute now. You could see the sheriff deputy there turning now, getting a little bit closer to the plane. And and Tiffany, I want to go back to, to what you were talking about because you mentioned that this could take up to a year. And and certainly that's exactly what we're hearing from 
from many experts, people who are in the legal field, that, that, that this could take a year and, like you said, up to several years in order um, mm -hmm. you know, for, for this to reach a, a conclusion. And um, just to talk again about what's expected tomorrow um, as Trump uh, arrives at that courtroom, like we said, he is expected to spend the night again in his Fifth Avenue apartment before he is driven once again by motorcade to his arraignment, to this historic arraignment. Once inside, we do know that he will be processed, but again, not handcuffed. He will then be walked along the 15th floor corridor into a courtroom where his attorney says that he will enter a plea of not guilty. There will be no other court proceedings on the 15th floor while the former president is inside. And again, we know that the streets around that courthouse will also be closed. And after the arraignment, like you said, Trump will get back on his plane and he will head back here to Palm Beach, to South Florida, in order to give that news conference from his Mar-a-Lago estate. And Natalie, so let me, as we let continue me to watch... Oh, well, let me continue with that thought because you were talking I'm about. I'm sorry, Tiffany. Go ahead. You were talking about former President Trump's lawyer um, and saying he wants to get in there and get out. And one of the things he said yesterday on ABC This Week, this is Joe Tap Tacopina. He said, "Quote: This is unprecedented." I when asked what's going to happen tomorrow, I don't know. I've done a million arraignments in that courthouse with celebrities and whatnot, but this is a whole different thing. We have Secret Service involved. I understand they're closing the courthouse, which Nathalie, you just alluded to for the afternoon. I just don't know what to expect to see. He added, what I hope is that we get in and out of there as quickly as possible. That's it. At the end of the day, a typical arraignment where we stand before the judge, we say not guilty, we set schedules to file motions and whatnot or discovery, and we move forward and get out of there. This is all according to uh, Donald Trump's attorney, Joe Tacopina. This is what he told George Stephanopoulos Sunday on ABC This Week. He also likened the case to persecution and said the charges, which remain under seal, revolve around Trump paying money to adult film actress Stormy Daniels, which has been reported before the 2016 election to keep her from going public with a claim of an affair that Trump denies. Also asked by Stephanopoulos if Trump was planning to address reporters with that news conference. At first, his attorney said no, but as we know now, uh, later yesterday uh, into the afternoon, uh, Trump's people said that he will be holding that news conference tomorrow evening at 8.15 at Mar-a-Lago. Nathalie? Yes, Tiffany. So, you know, what, what you were just talking about right now is, is the attorney, his attorney saying that he doesn't know what to expect, perhaps because, again, this is this is a historical arraignment. Donald Trump, once again, becoming the first president, current or former, to face criminal charges. Um, so, again, this is unprecedented, um, historic. This has never happened before. So perhaps why his attorney is saying he really does not know what to expect, despite being in that courtroom for several other arraignments. Um, if you're taking a look here, maybe we can zoom out a bit, uh, Tim, my, my photographer, Tim. You could see that some of the Trump supporters have now started to gather. They've moved from the sidewalk where they were along Southern Boulevard, just, you know, getting the attention of up along the fence of the um, of the airport here along Premier, Premier Road, you could see them again with their flags there, with their signs in support of the former president. And it seems like one, oh, there goes the SUVs. You, can you see the black SUVs? They are now leaving the tarmac. They are driving away from the plane at this time. We're counting, let's see, that's four, five. There's a whole line of them coming up behind as well. But yes, they are all driving off of the tarmac as well. When they got onto the tarmac here at the airport, they made their way to the other side of the plane. Um, where you know we couldn't see too well because it was blocked by some of the other uh, planes that are in front. But as you could see there, the SUVs, the black SUVs, there's a few white ones as well, now leaving the tarmac. Um, some of the other vehicles that were around the, the, the Trump plane also now leaving as well, making their way um, away from the plane. But we can still see, though, one of the what appears to be a cargo door from where we are is still open at this time. Um, so well, actually, they're shutting it right now. They're closing that door there on the side that has been open this entire time. So we lo it looks like we're just a few minutes away here from the plane taking off. But yep, that cargo door there that, that has been open was just shut. And again, the black SUVs just making their way off of 
tarmac. We do have Palm Beach County uh, Sheriff patrol their car right in front. We see some of them that are also leaving here on Perimeter Road. Um, and some of the supporters that were up against that fence have, have backed away. They've now moved back to, um, to, to where they were here, Tiffany. Nathalie. Nathalie, uh, you have one angle and I have another uh, here in the studio, the camera that we have right now. It does appear that the stairs are still down. Uh, we can, uh, oh no, the stairs, the air stairs have just now been pulled away from uh, Trump's private plane. So uh, all indications because we saw the motorcade leave, we see the stairs pulling away. The former president is on his private plane. He is getting set to take off on that short, little under three hours flight to New York City, where tonight he will spend at his Fifth Avenue apartment. He will spend the evening before his historic arraignment tomorrow in Manhattan. Nathalie, as you have mentioned, this is the first time in American history that a current or former president has faced criminal charges, and that will happen tomorrow in court in New York City. Now, of course, the indictment has been filed under seal. The charges, all of the charges, are not publicly known at this time. We do know Trump has been saying since the indictment on Thursday, uh, he's called it a political persecution and election interference at the highest level in history. And as we've been mentioning, he is expected to address the indictment uh, or what what he can at least uh, talk about tomorrow evening at 8:15 at Mar-a-Lago. So this is going to be a very short trip for the former president. He's going to leave Palm Beach International Airport this afternoon. He'll be in New York City for the evening. But once that arraignment is done tomorrow, and as all indications uh, from his attorney, they are going to be in and out. It's going to be a quick arraignment. He's going to get back on his private plane up in New York City and head back to the Palm Beaches where he will then hold that news conference tomorrow at 8.15. Uh, you've been seeing all types of supporters along Southern Boulevard uh, from the, the bridge there at Washington Road and Southern. From that point on, which is about a mile or two, the streets were filled with supporters. And of course, Republicans have rallied to Trump's defense after this Thursday indictment. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has vowed to launch an investigation into the matter and congressional Republicans quickly rallied to Trump's defense, attacking uh, D.A. Bragg on Twitter and accusing the district attorney of a political witch hunt. Uh, House Judiciary Chairman Jim Jordan of Ohio calling it outrageous. Uh, Ted Cruz, the Texas Republican, calling the indictment completely unprecedented and said it's a catastrophic escalation in the weaponization of the justice system. And Nathalie, you mentioned the governor's comment, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis also throwing his support behind Trump, even though he said earlier he was not going to get involved in Trump's indictment in any way. Uh, DeSantis saying that the weaponization of the legal system to advance a political agenda turns the rule of law on its head. It is un-American. That was uh, Governor, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis on Twitter. And uh, Tiffany, to add to what you were saying there about what the governor was saying, you know, he, he once again was attacking the Manhattan DA, Alvin Bragg, and, and he said that, you know, now when talking about Bragg, he turns around purely for political purposes and indicts a former president on misdemeanor offenses. You could see from our live pictures here that plane has started to move. We are just minutes away now from takeoff. Again, Donald Trump will be making his way to New York. Like Tiffany said, in a little bit, about a three hour flight or so, he will fly to New York, New York again one day ahead of this historic arraignment. Once again, Trump becoming the first president, current or former, to face criminal charges. And um, as we continue to see, you can now see the back of the plane as it's making its way down the runway there as it heads off to New York. 
as we continue to see the plane again just making its way down the runway there. The president was expected to depart here at Palm Beach International Airport around 1220 this afternoon. It is now 1245 and if you are just joining us right now on WPBF 25 we have been bringing you live coverage of former President Donald Trump arriving here at Palm Beach International Airport leaving his Mar-a-Lago home in a motorcade and making his way here to PBIA as he heads to New York City to be arraigned tomorrow after a grand jury handed down that indictment. And Nathalie, just if, if people are just Tiffany, joining us and for a little more background into the case that brought us to this historic moment, uh, Trump's former attorney and fixer Michael Cohen paid adult film star Stormy Daniels $130,000. This is what is just days before the 2016 election. In Cohen's version of events, this was done at the direction of his boss because Daniels was about to go public with what she says was an affair that she alleges she had had with Donald Trump in 2006. He denies all of those allegations. The former president, Donald Trump, denies all of those allegations. Trump, while he was in the White House, reimbursed Cohen, but has consistently denied the affair. The payment of that hush money by itself would not be the crime. In this case, the possible crime is how the payments were documented on the books of the Trump Organization. And again, a grand jury indicting Trump on Thursday, the first time in American history that a current or former president has faced criminal charges. And now the former president is sitting on his private plane on the tarmac of Palm Beach International Airport, getting ready to make that three hour trip to New York City where he will then land, head to his apartment on Fifth Avenue, and we are told he will spend the evening there before heading to his arraignment tomorrow morning, represented by his attorney, Joe Tacopina, who said on ABC This Week yesterday with George Stephanopoulos, quote, he is gearing up for a battle. He also said, factually, it is a joke and it won't survive a challenge of law in a courtroom. This is what he said of the case uh, to George Stephanopoulos. He, he said he can't know for sure because the charges are still sealed. So uh, a lot more will be known tomorrow. Once that arraignment is done, we'll know a lot more about the charges. ABC News is reporting there are two dozen criminal charges. And as we have been reiterating all morning, those charges make it's the first time in American history that a current or former president has faced those types of criminal charges. Nathalie, we see that the plane is sitting there, uh, understandably probably waiting for air traffic to move through before they get the go ahead to begin their departure. And Tiffany, you mentioned uh the former president arriving there in New York today and then going to his arraignment tomorrow. And once the former president lands in New York, he's going to just see the security barriers that are outside of the courthouse in New York City. Again, uh, his arraignment, the security that has been set up in New York City. Uh, we have heard from officials in New York who say that security is on high alert, again, ahead of the former president's arrival. Metal barriers we know surround Trump Tower and the criminal court building in lower Manhattan with the NYPD, New York Police Department, bracing for possible protests. So we will see again tomorrow, you know, what, what comes as, as the president makes his way again to that courthouse for this historic arraignment. Um, we know that against once he arrives there at the courthouse, we know that he will be processed. He will not be handcuffed. And then he will be walked into a courtroom where his attorney says that he will enter a plea of not guilty. We also know that he will be on the 15th floor corridor of that courtroom and we are being told that they will not have any other proceedings going on at the time of Donald Trump being on that floor. So nothing will be going on at that time. Um, well, just Nathalie the former president's just the former president's arraignment. Well, and Nathalie, that's something we talked about a little earlier was that 
there are so many security concerns too because this is, as you mentioned, so unprecedented because this is a, a historic moment where you have a former president who's being arraigned in a courtroom in New York City. Uh, there are a lot of unknowns. It's never happened before. And so, as you mentioned, you have some, some interesting details about you know, all other cases. There will be nothing else happening on that, on that floor of the courthouse when this takes place tomorrow. And Tiffany, to your point too, you mentioned how his attorney said that he had been in that courtroom on several arraignments in the past, but he also does not know what to expect when they walk into that courtroom. We do want to call your attention again to Donald Trump's plane that just took a left turn there as it continues to taxi there on the tarmac, getting ready here for takeoff. I can tell you um, Perimeter Road was closed here for a while as the motorcade was approaching the airport, but it has has since reopened and we're seeing cars come by. Some of those cars, Trump support flags, their horns. You may have heard uh, some of those horns here during our live shots. Um, so we did see some supporters start to leave the moment that there was movement with the plane, but there are several still out here, dozens, I would say, on, on either side of the airport here. Again, just waving their, their flags and their signs, waiting for this plane uh, to take off. I know we're good. We're going to lose it here out of our site here where we are. Uh, Tiffany, I know you said you had a different vantage point there in the studio. The last thing I'm seeing right now is, is the wing with the American flag, and it's just going into the distance there. So can you describe what you're seeing from your vantage point? Yes, yeah, so what we're seeing is the, the, the plane uh, continues to taxi. It appears as if it is taxiing west to the uh, end of that runway which meets a military trail between Belvedere Road and Southern Boulevard. It appears as if uh, that is a very um, one of the main runways of Palm Beach International Airport where the plane will then make a turn and will take off heading east. Uh, oftentimes, these flights go right over Mar-a-Lago. Um, that is the route that they take is they, they take off from the western side of the airport and head east out over the intracoastal, then right over the former president's Mar-a-Lago estate out towards the ocean. And then they make that northerly turn uh, to head up to New York City. Right now, it appears as if the plane is in a waiting mode right now because uh, it's probably waiting for the flight that was just before it to take off. And um, it is there on the tarmac. It appears that maybe it is slowly moving again. If you're just joining us, former President Donald Trump on his private plane here at Palm Beach International Airport. Just about 15 to 20 minutes ago, he left his Mar-a-Lago estate and made the short five mile trip from Palm Beach to the airport where he then boarded the plane, which will be headed to New York City for his court appearance tomorrow in Manhattan facing those two dozen counts uh, related to hush money payments made to adult film star Stormy Daniels right before the 2016 election. As we've been saying, this is a historic day in the Palm Beaches and really across the country as the former president uh, leaves this area to face those criminal charges. Uh, the first time in American history that a current or former president has faced those criminal charges. Nathalie, we know that the indictment has been filed under seal, so we're really not gonna know, we don't know publicly exactly what the charges are at this point, but we will learn a little bit more tomorrow once that arraignment takes place. That's right, Tiffany, yes, once that arraignment um is underway tomorrow, they will unseal those documents and we will learn a little bit more. That is standard grand jury proceedings when they hand down an indictment. Um, those records, those uh, those records are, are normally sealed or are sealed um, until again, the, the first arraignment, the first court appearance is made there. Um, in, in court. Um, I just want to describe what I'm seeing. I know that we're keeping an eye on the plane. I have lost sight from where I am. I am along Southern Boulevard right now, right on that, that ramp where you can take Congress Avenue from um, Southern Boulevard. That's where me and my photographer Tim are right now. So we uh, lost sight of the plane at this moment. Um, 
And as you continue to see those live images, I just want to describe what I am seeing here along Southern Boulevard and along Perimeter Road, which is the road that runs parallel to Southern Boulevard, right up against the fence here of the airport. So we have several media outlets that are still out here right now at this time. Again, not just from South Florida, but from our state and also from across the country. We also have still several Trump supporters who are out here right now, some of them on the sidewalk along Southern Boulevard, waving their flags, waving their signs, getting the attention of drivers drivers um, at, who, are, who are honking some you know some some stopping by in fact right now I see about four cars pulled over here on the side of Southern Boulevard not in an area uh, where, where you're supposed to be pulling off it's actually the bike lane but some cars have pulled over opened up their doors lowered their windows to to get a look at Donald Trump's plane taking off as it as it makes its way into the sky for New York like I said we have several media outlets out here several supporters some of them continue to be here on the sidewalk again waving their flags and with their signs others have made their way closer to the tarmac through to the fence area here um, just watching I see cell phones out as well people again just wanting to document this moment as uh, we wait for Donald Trump's plane to take off here for New York in just a few minutes now once the president arrives in New York City we do know that he will be spending the night in his Fifth Avenue apartment tomorrow morning we know that he will head to again this historic arraignment Trump once again as we've been saying he's becoming the first president current or former to face criminal charges and then once inside you may be hearing you may be hearing someone over um, over the the loudspeaker where there that's an FHP officer he's actually right behind us telling the cars that were pulled over on the bike lane here that they need to keep moving that they cannot stay here um, that they cannot just park their cars stop their cars here on Southern Boulevard they got to keep moving so that's what that was he's just making sure that people um, are, are moving and not blocking traffic here so well, again Natalie, once Trump um, arrives in New York oh sorry go ahead Tiffany well Natalie I was just because I know you you can't see the plane anymore more and we have a, a different viewpoint now and uh, it, it's hard to make out but if you are watching at home it appears as if Donald Trump's plane is third in line to take off so we're we see one plane that's just getting ready to take off and again uh, it appears as if they are um, at the western side of the airport which butts up to military trail if you've driven by that area you know military trail goes north and south and the airport goes right up to the edge of military trail It's between southern and Belvedere and uh, most of the times when flights take off from this area of the airport they're going to take off head east over the intracoastal right down Southern Boulevard almost right where all of his supporters have been standing for hours today uh, if they're still there they will see his plane take off from the airport fly over them there along Southern Boulevard over the intracoastal over his own estate Mar-a-Lago head out into the ocean and then take that northerly turn to head up to New York City. So it appears as if uh, it is a grainy picture, Natalie, but what it appears right now is that uh, the plane is second now in line to take off. Uh, we just saw a big flight and I believe this is it now turning to taxi its way onto the runway, uh, which will be you see the one flight that's taking off right now and then it appears as if there's another one behind that and then it will be Trump's private plane which will take him up to New York City for that arraignment which meanwhile Donald Trump's attorneys say regarding that arraignment they don't really know what to expect because it is so unprecedented uh, on ABC this week on Sunday Joe Tacopina said I don't know I've done a million arraignments in that courthouse with celebrities and whatnot but this is a whole different thing we have Secret Service involved I understand they're closing the courthouse for the afternoon and Natalie that's something you talked about that that whole floor the 15th floor will be shut down except for this one arraignment the attorney also added that he hopes that they get in and out of there as quickly as possible and that at the end of the day a typical arraignment will stand before the judge and say not guilty and now we watch as the former president's plane makes it its way down the runway on this historic day as the former president heads to New York City to face criminal charges. The first time in American history that a current or former president has faced criminal charges. And now the plane begins its departure.
It is a three hour trip to New York City. Touchdown should be shortly before four o'clock this afternoon. The president will then head to his Fifth Avenue apartment, spend the night there before tomorrow's arraignment. Nathalie? Tiffany? The plane now is in the distance. We, we see it there up in the air. So Donald Trump, former President Donald Trump, is now on his way to New York after being indicted by a Manhattan grand jury last week. As you continue to look at these live pictures of the plane leaving Palm Beach International Airport just moments ago, a historic arraignment that will take place tomorrow. Trump becoming the first president, current or former, to face criminal charges. We do know that tomorrow when he makes his appearance, he will be processed but not handcuffed and walked into a courtroom where his attorney says he will enter a plea of not guilty. We have been bringing you live coverage here on WPBF at 25 News of this historic moment in our country. A former president indicted by a grand jury in New York City, leaving his Mar-a-Lago estate on Palm Beach just after noon today, making his way down Southern Boulevard in a motorcade, coming here to Palm Beach International Airport to dozens of supporters who lined the sidewalk here on Southern Boulevard with signs and with flags, cheering him on as he made his way onto the tarmac, onto the plane, and now on his way to New York City. Tiffany. Nathalie, we thank you for your excellent reporting all throughout the morning on this historic day. You are watching an extended edition of WPBF 25 News. And Trump, once again, to reiterate, is set to appear in a New York courtroom tomorrow. Sources telling ABC News the former president faces about two dozen charges, including felonies. Trump, now the only former president to face criminal charges. New York City police now preparing for potential protest ahead of the former president's arrival. Our coverage does not stop here. We will continue to follow this breaking news on air and online. Our co-anchor Todd McDermott will have live coverage starting this afternoon at four, and that will be right around the time that the pre former president's plane lands in New York City. And now I want to toss it over to Brooke Silverang for